Man, I do want to go, dude. What's going on, YouTube? Today is the day. We're bringing back scary games. I'm not a fan of scary games. I get I get jump scared really easy. So today, we're going to try to be completing uh, a little game I, call, I found on itch.io called The Hospital. Hospitals are mad scary, dude. Hospitals are mad scary, so let's just hop in, you know? Mm. Best experience with headphones. You know I got them. You know I got them. Adjust the brightness. Let's just go full brightness. I can't freaking see anything, dude. All right, we're in it. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who did, who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my conditions grew worse day by day. I checked in the hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as a pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a statistic. <laughs> oh crap, chat. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to incubate me if my condition gets worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die, alone in this room. I was never a believer in God, or heaven, or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I never really stopped thinking about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. The people... The people in the background that are like talking and opening doors and stuff... My God. It sounds like they're right behind me. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can barely breathe. Oh my god, my mouse sensitivity? I can't change. Fair enough. I'm up. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Walk around using WASD, look with your mouse, observe the surrounding by clicking on objects in the world. The game saves automatically, you do not need to save the game to resume where you left off. Fair enough. All the TV ever played was news about the pandemic, about the daily death toll, and the crashing economy. I told the nurse to turn it off, and to take the remote away. Watching TV was as I whiled away those endless hours struggling to breathe. Only made everything seem worse. I can click on everything. Chairs for visitors. Except being in quarantine. I had no visitors. My bed. It looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off? Who came in and made my bed? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if this room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. Oh, my... The clock doesn't seem to be working. It's, 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 let's see, it's, it's nine o'clock. It's silent. I remember the doors, the doctors, and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping. The hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines were sp whose p purpose you don't know. Yo, I the music, the music just gives me chills.
The bathroom door appears to be locked. Oh! That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Locked. That's odd. There's no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Yo. This a yo, chat. Yo. Sealed, just like the others. My, uh, my, I am so scared right now. My whole body is just chills everywhere. Nurses station. When I checked in here, struggling to be breathe, there were two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind the desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. No luck. Did these doors open out to a lobby with the elevator? That would have been my way up, except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. Locked. Strange. There are no signs. I could swear there were signs beside these doors. Cardiology, obstetrics, radiology, etc. Why are the windows opaque? Opaque, and I can't see anything through them. Yo, I don't want to go down here, dude. I don't want to go down here. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Are these patients wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse or a doctor who can help me and tell me what's going on. Yo, I locked. What? Someone on the other side of the store? This room just like this room looks just like the one I was in, but it's a mess. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the patient departed. Holy crap. That figure. Oh, dude. Sound came from out there. I don't know if I want to go out there, dude. I'm going to be completely honest. That figure I saw on TV. It reminded me of... No, it can't be. I'm just imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. Yo. Man, I do want to go, dude. I just want to go, dude. Can I just go? Uh oh! Gets me every time. 
Hey, yo, mama. Come here. Let me holla at you. You got a friend? Alright, dude. I feel like I'm playing freaking PT. Bruh. It's locked. Is that a corpse in there? If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. Facts. Facts. Is someone, tr is, is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. Yo, dude. Hey, bro. Hey, yo, mama. It can't be her. This is a dream, a nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Come on, dude. It ain't gotta be like this. It don't have to be like this, my guy. Oh my God. What is this? What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they arranged this looks like an apartment where I used to live, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. Yo. Oh shit. Can't be. Can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know her anywhere. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Nye, is that you? This isn't real. I'm dreaming. That familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events from four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life? Had I done something differently? And at what cost? I'm sorry for what happened, Naya. Only cold silence. What does she want? Naya? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away on the hospital bed? Yo, that is not where I want to go. Yo, why does she look dead? I mean, is that a photo of her? She looks dead even though she's alive. I remember this picture. We had taken it out on the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperature, brooding silences, fixed stares and obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a gr chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, yo, I don't wanna go no more. Man, I don't wanna do this. <laughs> Damn this hospital. What is this place? Don't do this to me. Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is terrible. I should have moved on.
Doesn't budge. What? Oh! Oh! Yo, come on now. Come on. Oh, golly. Yo. Yo, I don't like the silence. I don't like the silence at all. Yo, I will I will deck you. Don't do this. Heavy breathing. I'm sweating. I am sweating. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her, grabbed, grappled the blade away, and subdued her until authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. And a week later, I got that terrible call. Oh! Naya, oh God. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you wrote on the note, your last words. Come on. What do you want from me, Naya? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? My whole body is tensing, man. It's tensing up. Now we duel. What do you want from me? I think of that note you left, your last words you ever wrote. Ah, oh, she's coming closer. Okay. I'm never gonna let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive. Oh! I'm, I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Naya? What the heck? What will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadow hallways, halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma? Trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born out of guilt? Or am I dead? And this is my is this my afterlife? These dread halls and tormented souls stalking me for eternity? Don't do this to me. That was the hospital. And that had me going. That was pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. It had me sweating. Hospitals already freak me out in general. Scary games freak me out in general. So that one, <laughs> that tugged right at the heartstrings, that's for sure. But thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.